Hey y'all, today we're talking radicchio. That's what this is. And it kind of looks like a small head of red cabbage maybe, but it's got these beautiful white um, sort of centerpieces veins running through it. And it's a little, it's more leafy than cabbage. So what we're gonna do though is we're actually gonna treat it very similarly to cabbage because it is in this head shape. So it makes perfect sense to do that. What we're gonna do is slice it down the middle first. And you see again, it, it has that same pattern that you get with cabbage. So when you, once you do that, there are um, you know a couple of different things you can do with it. Now, as I said, I just sliced it in half. Now I'm actually going to go in uh, quarters first because I want to remove this middle piece. And so now I'm going to take my knife at an angle and just cut. Same thing I would do for cabbage. Really no different at all. So cutting that down like that. So now I have these little wedges. And from here I can do a couple of different things. If I wanted to uh, just kind of keep it in larger pieces, I could just cut it like that and that, and then I have larger pieces. If I want to shred it, I would take that um, as it is there and then just kind of go cut down the way. And it kind of just shreds on its own. There's very little I need to do. Just basically making thin slices. And that kind of then ultimately shreds it for me, which is really convenient. It's a little bit more tricky to work with than cabbage because as you can see, it kind of, it falls apart a lot more easily than cabbage. But if I can keep it a tight grasp on it, I can typically get it, you know, a nice kind of even shred. So I'm gonna finish these, uh, but that's it for radicchio. Again, you can, Cut it, once you cut it in a quarter from there, you can either shred it or just cut it in a couple of large chunks. But this is for the most part, you know, how we're gonna be using radicchio. That's it.